Cars here quick. Yeah, we thought we heard a gunshot out there. Well, I don't know. But if it is, we'll hear it like you said. Alright, anyway. I'm not even going to worry about the light. Y'all don't need to look at my ugly face anyway. Alright, the fall and redemption of men. Uh, definition and nature of sin. What is sin declared to be? You know what? I'm going to have to get that light because it is too dark. I can't read it. Alright. Whosoever committeth sin is transgresses also the law, for sin is a transgression of the law. 1 John 3 and 4. And the question was, what is sin declared to be? Alright. Now we're on a second one. What preceded the manifestation of sin? Then, when lust has conceived, it brought forth sin. James 1, 15. The results of sin. What is the final result or fruit of sin? And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Verse 15. The wages of sin is death. Romans six twenty three. Upon how many of the human's race did death pass as a result of Adam's transgression? By one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin. And so death passed upon all men, for all that have sinned. Romans twelve of uh, five twelve. In Adam all died. First Corinthians fifteen twenty two. How were the earth itself and the vegetation after by Adam's sin? Cursed is the ground for thy sake, in sorrow thou shalt eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns and let's see, thorns also and thistles shall bring forth to thee. Genesis three seventeen and eighteen. What additional curse came? As a result of the first murder. And the Lord said unto Cain, And now thou art cursed from the earth, which thou hast opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from, from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. Genesis 4, 9-12 what terrible adjustment came in consequences of continued sin and transgression against God. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth. The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence. And Noah was six hundred years old when the flood of the waters was upon the earth. The same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened. Genesis 7. I meant Genesis 6, 7, 13, 7, and 6, and 11. Alright. After the flood, what came in consequence of further opposed Postery? No. A-P-O-S-T-A-S-Y. From God. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men built. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they began to do. And now nothing to be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and therefore confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off building the city. Genesis 5-8. through eight. I mean, Genesis 11-5-8. Unto uh, what condition has sin brought the entire creation? For we know that the whole creation groaneth 
and troubles and pain together until now. Romans 8.22 God delayed in destroying sin. What explains God's apparent delay in dealing with sin? The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 2 Peter 3, 9 What is God's attitude towards the sinner? For I have no pleasure in death of him, that death and the Lord God Therefore, turn yourself and live ye. Ezekiel 18.32 Can man free himself from the damnation of sin? Can an Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spot? Then may ye also do good that are acceptable to do it. That did not sound right. Then may ye also do good that are accused to do evil. Jeremiah 3, 23. What place has the will of determining whether men shall have life, and the spirit, and the bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, <coughs> and let him that is atheist come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. 11, 22, and 17. Christ, the sinner, and Satan. To what extent has Christ suffered for sinners? He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. His chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53 and, and 5. I thought it was by his stripes we are healed, not with his stripes. I'm going to go look at that. I think it was by his stripes. So we got Isaiah. No, we won't be three. No, we don't want Jeremiah. All right. And, uh, I don't know where I was at. Okay, Isaiah 53 and 5. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes... We are healed. This is not the KJB of the. I. No. You know, changing the word does have a lot to do with it. But I'm going to go on. I'm not going to look up all these. I'm just going to go ahead and read the book like it is. I thought some of them didn't sound right. I was like, no, maybe I'm wrong. But I I don't care for the NIV or I I'm a KJV only reader. Sixteen eleven. Sixteen eleven, right? Yeah, because if you if you change it after that, you you could be different. Right. If you change it after that, it could be different. Like I said. All right. For what purpose was Christ manifest? And you know that He was manifest to take away our sin. And in him is no sin. He that commits sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For these purpose the Son of God was manifest, that he might destroy the works of the devil. 1 John 3, 5-8. through eight. See, like 5-8 through eight right here? There's more to it than just what I just read. Alright, what? Well, was one the distinct purpose of the incarnation of Christ. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, 
he also himself likewise took a part of the same, that through death he might destroy him <coughs> that had the power of death, that is the devil. Hebrews 2.14 I bet you all didn't know that. Satan had uh, power over death. All right. All right. Uh, what triumphant course will mark the end of the reign of sin? And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them Heard I saying, Blessed and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb for ever and ever. Revelations 5.13 When and by what means will the effect of sin be removed? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. I'm going to tell you now, it's a loud verse. In the which the heavens shall pass away. Ain't going to go quietly. With a great noise. <laughs> and the elements shall melt with ferment heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Second Peter 3.10 <clears throat> Yeah, I don't believe in the rapture. Mm -mm. I believe in the rapture when Jesus Christ comes back and takes me home. <laughs> then I was like, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. How, <coughs> how thoughtfully will the effects of sin be removed? <coughs> how thoroughly will the effect? <coughs> All right, maybe I can go on. How thoroughly will the effects of sin be removed? And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. In Revelation 21, 4. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb of God shall be in it, the holy city. And his servant shall serve him, Revelation 22.3. Will sin and its evil result ever appear again? There shall be no more death, and there shall be no more curse. Revelation 21.4 and 22.3. Uh... Faith rise above the mystery and disappear of sin. All right, now, <clears throat> I do not think that God has is mysterious. You have the whole 1611 KJV to tell you all about God. And there's no mystery here. When he's going to show up, now that's a mystery. All right. That sin exists, none can deny. Why it was permitted as perplexed many, many minds. But he, who can bring light out of darkness, Second Corinthians 4 and 6. Make the wrath of man to praise him, Psalm 76, 10. And turn a curse into a blessing, Deuteronomy 23, 5. Can bring good out of evil and turn mistakes and downfalls into stepping stones to higher ground. Heaven will be happier for the sorrow of earth, sorrow Remember, sweet teen presents joy, says Robert Polk in the Curse of Time, Book 1. In the final outcome, it will seem 
that all things have worked together for good to them that love God. See Romans 8.28 Perhaps no poem ever written outside the Bible better expressed the, the trumpet faith that trusts God's uh, merciful, loving, the mysterious purpose which he is working out through the dark shadows of earth, evil and sorrow. Better better than does this beloved hymn by women, William Cowper were the is the illumination of the words of the Apostle James who tells us that by faith ye have seen the end of the Lord. His purpose, his objective, that the Lord is very pitiful huh? and of tender mercy. Pitiful. P-I-T-I-F-U-L. Pitiful, right? He ain't paying attention. All right, James 5, 11. You talking um, to me? Yeah. Or what'd you say? Pitiful. P I T I F U L. Yeah. I'm sorry. Whoever this is is saying that God's objective is pitiful. So that the Lord is very pitiful. All right. Cowper wrote these words out of his own despair brought on by the mental disease. Me Lanchula M E L A N C H O L I A. <coughs> I never heard of that before. <coughs> Let's see if I can get my phone here and we're going to check it out. We ain't got nothing else better to do today. So, <coughs> let's see. Okay. What is M E L A N C H O L I A? According to Mayo Clinic, a severe form of depression. Oh, and that's it? Wow, really? Why don't you just call it depression? Depression. Well, yeah. Well, you have to have a big old word. You throw that word in there, and then nobody knows what you're talking about. Yeah. Hey, so, man, he had this right here. Whatever. Me, Lanchula. Alright, he's a melanchula. Alright, if he could so trust God through his life and for the future, who of us need have anything but trustful praise for the tender father whose hand will never cause his child to tear, not need for chast... Wait a minute. God chastises people. And this is saying that he doesn't need no discipline or no... Ta God will chastise you. He will. Yeah, he will. <laughs> this That's right... right he will. <laughs> yeah, this right here is saying that he won't. He will hard. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of wondering about this book now. This right here is most definitely not the truth. He has chosen us is but burning away our dross. It is persuaded over by the divine alchemist who set as a referner of silver, particularly wanting till the precious ore of our character is so refined that it reflects his face. What? Okay. Alrighty, and he did leave a point here uh, God moves in mysterious way mm -mm. his wonders to perform he plant his footstep in the sea and rides upon the storm deep in unfaithable mind of never falling skill he treasures up his bright design and works his sovereign will. He fearfully saint, fresh courage take, the clouds ye 
so much dread, are big with mercy, and shall break in blessings on your head. Sounds like it's going to rain. Judge not the Lord by feeble sense, but trust him for his grace. Behind a frowning... Okay, I, I quit right here. Do what, babe? It's saying that God is frowning. And I I'm quitting right here. I may end up looking for another book. Because I am not going to teach false doctrine. I will not teach false doctrine. And this is coming down to false doctrine. And I... Well, I will read a couple more to see if it comes back on track. But if it does not come back on track, this book will go in the trash. Now, I want you all to look at this right here picture. You see this person right here that they say is Christ? That is not Christ. Alright, anyway... I am going to go ahead and put this one up, but I am not reading the rest of that. And I, if it keeps on going like this, I, I've seen a couple of them, but I'm like, no, it's just me. But no, I know this one here is not me. This is not me. No. <coughs> and, uh, okay, I'm going to quit. So, if it keeps on, I'm quitting reading this book, and I'll let you know.